Today, four contenders will try to shop, shop their way to the top. Let's meet them. First up, Sean Davis, executive chef from Los Angeles, California. Next up, Dana McLeod, a caterer and super proud mom from Los Angeles, California. And then there's Keith Obarski, head chef of a juvenile facility from Jacksonville, Mississippi. And finally, Gio Kajedjian, a private chef and Cordon Bleu grad. We're gonna start with a classic called Surf and Turf. And I'm gonna let you use everything in the store as long as they come out of a can. And that's why we like to call this game Can Can. You're gonna have 25 minutes in three, two, one, go! It's like the cannonball run. The challenge is to make a canned surf and turf dish. Immediately, I grab canned meat for the turf. Being a vegetarian, I can't even remember the last time I cooked meat in my house. Woo! As I'm running through shopping, it's nuts. It's like being in a maze. I don't run. I'm not gonna go zip, zip, zip down the end of the whole thing. I, that's just, that's not me, I don't do that. As an executive chef, it's harder for me at my level to cook simple. I get back to my station, I cut up my lunch meat, season it all up. I've worked at a Michelin star restaurant and I use fresh products and you know, good quality ingredients. I don't trust canned food. This is the worst thing I could have imagined. Two minutes. When I look around and I see that every single one of the competitors are doing canned ham, I almost felt bad for America. Next, I grab my avocado and as I'm cutting it, I go, this makes a really nice cup. Chefs, one minute, one minute left to plate. The time flies so fast. One second you're shopping, the next second you're cooking, and the next second, hands up. 25 seconds. And I'm opening the oven in anticipation, and my egg is just not set yet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm hoping that the egg will have some carryover cooking and that maybe this might work. 2, 1. Everybody, stop working. Starting off with Chef Gio. I figured when I heard canned, I'd go straight cassoulet, classic French peasant dish. Now over to Chef Dana. My background is vegetarian healthy cooking. So I went with tropical crab salad with black bean puree and pineapple, mango, nectar, and some diced tomatoes. Now on to Chef Keith. What I have today is canned luncheon meat with the pineapple and black bean and key lime yogurt salsa and a little bit of fennel on the side. Here we have a grilled canned meat with abalone, grilled baby corn, and a chili tomato cream. Three will stay, one will go. Keith, you need to check out. Congratulations, chefs. Let the games continue. It's time to give you another classic food pairing any kind of soup, and any kind of sandwich. I promise you, you can use anything in the store. You can spend as much money as you want. You can grab as many items as you want. All right, chefs, to your carts. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here I forgot. There's <sighs> just one little cat. The name of this game is No Carts Allowed. We can't use carts. You can only use the ingredients you can carry back to your station, and you only get one trip. You have 25 minutes to do this. Soup and sandwich combo. Three, two, one, action. The first area I go is to the cheeses. Grab me some Gouda, grab the Fontina, grab the Gruyere, even if I gotta grab it by my teeth. I feel really nervous right now about this tofu. How am I gonna get everything in my apron? Maybe. I'm doing an Asian Swiss chard wrap with a side of Asian mushroom soup. The last game, making it through by the skin of my teeth, I know I need to step up my game and really focus and get going. People think soup is just simple. To try and get that complexity in soup in 25 minutes and get a grilled cheese with it, that is a challenge for me. Okay, I'm getting back to my station and my apron's full. I couldn't afford to drop anything. Immediately, I start my soup. That's gonna take the longest. I gotta peel my squash, cut it into very, very, very thin slices so it cooks. 
I start with the wrap. I'm gonna finish off my carrots, my red peppers, and shiitake mushrooms. Next, I had to blanch my Swiss chard leaves, and I realized that I had no ice. Chefs, one minute, one minute left to plate. Tell me about the soup. Yeah, we're running a little slow. 35 seconds. I hear the judges talking about me, and I just realized someone's not getting soup. Come we on, want that on. soup. There's no way I'm gonna get everything on the dish. I barely got my grilled cheese off the pan, and I realize I don't have enough grilled cheeses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop working. Your interpretation of the great soup and sandwich. First up, Chef Sean. We have a lamb sandwich with a little bit of a curry and a little goat cheese on top of it. The bread is a grilled pizza dough and a butternut squash soup. Chef Gio, what do you got for us? I went with the traditional classic tomato bisque with pink peppercorn creme fraiche and apple gruyere fontina grilled cheese. Next up, Chef Dana. I wanted to do an Asian wrap in a Swiss chard leaf. Take out that bread, take out that gluten. Going back to my healthy mom ways, I then put an Asian mushroom soup along with it. The winner of game two of Grocery Games will be... Chef Sean. Congratulations. Appreciate it. The chef that will be moving on to game three will be... Chef Gio. Dana, thank you so much for playing. You are checked out. Thank you, chefs. Congratulations, Chef Sean, Chef Gio. For your last challenge, you're gonna be making something on the higher end. It's not grilled cheese and soup this time. Steakhouse dinner. Because today, you're gonna use my list. This game is called Grocery List. You have to shop for and include the seven ingredients on the list in your dish. Bone-in protein, something green, a starch, a dairy product, something from the onion family, a boxed item, and a vegetable. Now, you can fortify it with other items if you'd like, as long as you use everything on the list. Grab your list and chef to the carts. In three, two, one, go. Well, to me, I see the grocery list and I see that there's a bone-in protein. Immediately, oh my god, bone-in ribeye. I'm making a coriander and fennel crusted bone and ribeye served with a lobster and gruyere cheese risotto. Your steakhouse, lobster and steak have to go together. So I figured I would do like a little potato chip over my cauliflower puree. Almost five minutes into it, Gio is here and there is... 20 seconds. I need to use every single thing on this list. 10, nine, Eight, Get it all down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop working. Nice job, chefs. Way to go. <laughs> Chef Sean, tell us what the judges are going to enjoy. Okay, we have a coriander fennel crusted bone-in ribeye with lobster risotto, roasted asparagus, sauteed white onion, oyster mushrooms with a little bit of blue cheese. Chef Gio. What I have for you guys is a porterhouse steak. I also went with the classic asparagus. My play on mashed potatoes is that cauliflower puree. I fried up the peewee potatoes and put them on there to kind of play at the fact that it's not mashed potatoes. And on top, that's caramelized shallot. I want to tell you, it's been a blast. This was amazing to see. And the winner of the Steakhouse Grocery List Game 3 Chef Gio, give it up, you just won, man. <laughs> what do you think of that? I'm extremely humbled by this. Words can't express enough. I'm just so happy. Here in my hand is a list of 10 items. You have two minutes to find as many of them as possible. Each item on the list will be worth 2,000 bucks. If you grab all 10 items, you will win $20,000. Grab your cart, the track is yours. Here we go. Three, two, one, go, Gio! Yeah! I've been running through the grocery store all day, and I still don't think I know where any of these items are. 
Yeah. We got pork product, 4,000 bucks. We got cabbage, yellow citrus, 8,000 bucks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> My friend, you have just made yourself 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, $8,000!